Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the holiday. Uh, as you will most likely read in my blog post, I also made one of those about it. Um, talking a little bit more about what I'm going to talk about now and also some other announcements. I wanted to talk to this idea about Thanksgiving and the holiday of Thanksgiving and how it, uh, you know, which is one of the many, you know, genocides that has happened over the course of human history. Uh, it's one thing that just baffles my mind. Do you think after thousands and thousands of years of just killing each other for whatever reason, we'd be over it? But we just can't seem to, you know, pick up the lesson. <laughs> it just boggles my mind. You know, as a student of history, you know, and reading about the, you know, the supposed first Thanksgiving, which took place in the, most likely in the late summer of 1621, you know, those first group of pilgrims that came over, uh, you know, they actually had decent relationships with the Wampanoag. Uh, tribe. Uh, it wasn't until more Europeans started to show up with uh, greedier intentions and pretty soon, you know, the Massachusetts Bay Colony was founded. They had uh, the indigenous peoples fighting proxy wars against each other to free up more land. It's just disgusting and horrible. And there isn't one indigenous culture in this country uh, that hasn't experienced the most atrocious behavior another human can act upon another human. Uh, in fact, if you research just about every human culture, uh, you know, it, it, it seems to be a, rep a repeating cycle. Uh, and, you know, one of my things, one of the things I try to do is to yell, stop, stop killing each other, you know, stop killing trees to make toilet paper, you know, there's other alternatives, let's evolve as a species and start putting to use some of the technologies that we have to build things like fancy smartphones, and, uh, you know, all sorts of other stuff, put it to healing the earth, you know. There's a way to live and exist in the modern world, but still lead a nature-based lifestyle. You know, live in, be attached to the nature net. And it's a wonderful feeling. It's a life-changing feeling, and I've seen it happen hundreds of times in my 22 years of teaching. And that's why I'm so passionate about what I do, because, uh, you, you know, I've seen the proof. It's been proven to me. So, <clears throat> you know, as far as Thanksgiving goes, the, 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 the history of the holiday aside, to me, Thanksgiving is a cornerstone of my life. You know, I'm no way, shape, or form a religious person, but I am, I do believe in the spirit of creation and that we are all one, all of us, trees, plants, everything. Uh, and to me, thanksgiving or giving thanks, having gratitude is the most sincere form of prayer because you're not asking for anything. Right? Most people pray, oh, you know, give me a better job, more money, heal my relative, etc. But if you're just thankful, you're just thankful. One last thing I'll share with you all before I, I, I take off again. And I'm, I'm, it's probably the third video I've talked about it in, but I recently came up with this idea. The, the, these two ideas, you know, the three pillars that hold up me and my businesses are collaboration, community, and caretaking. And the other one, perhaps the most profound one, at least for me and my personal growth, is every morning when I wake up, 
the first thing I say, and I say it out loud, is today's the first day of the rest of my life, and I can do whatever I want with it. Right? The past is gone. We've learned from its mistakes, hopefully. We've taken valuable lessons from it. The future doesn't exist yet. Imagine right now is the center of your hand and each finger is a pro possible or probable future. You know, sometimes you get to choose, other times you don't. But if you wake up with that mindset that every day is the first day of the rest of your life, you can do anything you want. And just a, a, a month or two of me changing that thinking has drastically altered the way I do almost everything. And it's starting to attract more, more clients to me, more business, you know. Um, and it's great. And I'm pissed off at myself that I wasted so long being mopey and, uh, you know, not taking a good hard look at myself and what, what I was doing right or what I was doing wrong or, you know, seeking out, uh, you know, help from people who know the skills I needed to know sooner than I did. Because I'm T3, I can do anything. I can figure it out. Yeah. But it's bought me nothing but a year and a half of misery. But thankfully, I've got my team. You know who you are. Um, I love you guys. I love all of you. But, uh, you know, in order to help me out, once again, I'm still, my, my Indiegogo campaign, or not Indie, my GoFundMe campaign is still rolling. Um, I also need somebody who's got some marketing skills, uh, uh to help me out, potentially. Uh, I'm willing to do skill trade, uh, you know, things like that, so... You know, I'm always seeking to learn more because of, you know, the circumstances of the past. I am not allowed to do any sort of advertising on Facebook or Instagram. Um, and so therefore, I've had to try to do everything word of mouth. Uh, and it's a lot more difficult in this day and age. So anyway... I'm going to roll, let y'all enjoy your bird or whatever you may be eating. I'm going to go visit with some friends here in a little bit. I just wanted to put this out there while it was still beautiful and sunny. And uh, if you're subscribed to my mailing list, um, my e blog post will be going out tomorrow. Uh, so you still have time to go to my website and subscribe. Uh, and when you do that, you get a coupon code that is good for 10% off everything T3 for life. And it even stacks upon other discounts. So keep that in mind. Until next time, y'all. I have so much love and thanks for all of you and the support you've been sending my way. I feel it. Peace.